hey everyone so this is a simple uh, just test tutorial not exactly a tutorial it's just display of a test application that i'm going to be making using vim editor uh, it's going to be written in python of course it's going to be involving object oriented programming and let's just uh, jump in shall we and you know i am honestly just posting whatever i want so let's create the file so let's call it vim uh youtube or yt.py all right so within now let's create a class called hmm, let's see we want to create a classification system that would basically classify books depending on they are their uh what do you say well, based on the genre yeah so let's call it classify and let's initialize the functions of course self name of the book genre and should i include the publishment agency or publisher like penguin or new york times i guess no i don't think that's necessary author of course all right so let's just do self top name it's name dot genre is equal to genre self dot author is equal to author all right so now that we're done with that let's create another uh, method that would essentially try to find out the or it would classify it hmm we're basically classifying it beforehand we are knowing what genre it is it isn't exactly a classifier so let's just call this like a library or something shall we it maintains book records library yeah i think that's a better definition of what we are creating here get name and then let's just return the name of the book return uh, self dot name and if you guys didn't know self function can I mean the self serves essentially to uh, just one second let me just type this out self dot genre so yeah the self basically instantiates this class and refers to this class beforehand itself and you don't have to essentially type it out so that's what i mean to say actually let's create a class let's create a class uh, attribute or class object what do you call it class variable yeah so then lib name or lib name library name and let's call a library the book engine shall we sounds cool right so why am i using vim well i just want to get used to typing it out without having auto complete and get in my way and ruining my day because uh, well it just spoils me right so i want to focus more on disciplined programming and just learn the syntax as much as i possibly can all right so we have created a class now let's create a new object so let me just comment this this is the first object actually let's comment everything this creates or this returns the author name this returns the genre and this is a simple application of course i mean you know there is class inheritance encapsulation polymorphism blah 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 uh, but you know i am actually i'll i'm gonna be transparent with you i'm learning it currently okay uh i'm not extremely familiar with it uh but actually i don't know it let's just be clear uh but i'm still learning it and i'm hopeful i'm learning with from tech with them caleb curry no actually not caleb curry tech with them cory schaefer yeah cory Schaff schaefer yeah he's actually he, he has a decent like a really good uh tutorials like he explains he boils things down like it is first principle thinking like he boils everything down and teaches you from the ground up it's pretty good uh in it uh in it method or uh, initialization 
that's you know generally commenting code is good class variable regarding library name all right so let's create a first object let's call it b1 as in book one and let's do library oh my god autocomplete is not there i'm extremely scared all right so the name of a book let's call it the brief history of time because this is a quite a good book the genre is it's a sci novel it's a scientific novel no it's just it's a is it is it a dog it's a science it, it's science name of the author of course stephen hawking actually it's supposed to be doctor i think isn't it, is it a do he, he was awarded an honorary doctorate right i'm not confident on that let's just do b1 actually print b1 dot get name uh, of course you have to call the function there because if you just do it without the two brackets then it uh, basically prints out the location of that particular object with a particular piece of code within the memory of uh, your cpu i think i'm not sure it it shows the like the values it's like 0x00c something like that it's it's pretty weird i don't know what that is i know it's stored somewhere in your memory but i don't know which memory i might actually have to do research on that it's pretty cool all right so now that we're done with the application let's hope this works shall we so python 3 what did we call this actually let me just do ls i just forgot what i called it is it a yt.py yeah python 3 yt Ah, oh, it's perfect. I've written it correctly. Brief history of time. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna do an epic gamer move right here. Oh, let me. Yeah, finally. God damn it, man. So I'm gonna create what's called as an F string, and you know, show flex my. Uh, Programming skills on you noobs who use dot format methods. Lul GG bruh is the author of and then self dot book. Yeah, I hope that's right. Okay, so F string and then let's just do God damn it. Is the genre and you know I really like uh it's a change of pace because you know it's like being spoiled with VS Code and I really feel that uh, Vim breaks from that it's a uh, it's powerful text editor it has a lot of functions and you can custom define functions with it as well using the command mode and it's it's you know it's pretty interesting and. I think you can configure it to be like VS Core and do autocompletes for you as well. Uh, but, you know, I'm yet to try that out. Alright. So, I think we are done. Right? Escape. Right changes. Oh, let's go. Line 17. Okay. Which line are we in? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's written over here, by the way, at the bottom. I'm highlighting it right now. Highlighting it. Ah, oh, library object has no attribute. Book. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. It's self.name. I'm so stupid. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pretend that did not happen. A brief History of Time is the name of the author. Science is the genre. Stephen Hawking is the author of The Brief History of Time. So we have achieved our goal. Now, you can also just, you know, do WQ and then do it here itself. But I mean, what would be the fun in that, right? But anyways, uh, this is just me, you know, having fun and writing out a Python program with object-oriented programming using Vim. If you enjoyed it, which you probably didn't because, you, you, you know, if you're new then you didn't understand anything but if you're old you're probably like 
oh my god this kid's code is like really stupid and ugly like you can do some other thing to get like all the information but with only one line instead of printing it out in one line billing but uh, i'm open to criticisms just not negative uh just critical criticisms of like the ones that actually resonate with my code and can actually positively influence it but if you did like this uh entire programming session then make sure to leave a like and uh subscribe um if you are interested of course but uh, that's about it see ya thank you